my beautiful people. You guys know what time it is. It's some it's a, it's hump it's some Mel Junior's Cheeto Dinosaur. I don't know what the heck a Cheeto Dinosaur is. It's probably gonna gonna be related to Chester Cheetah. We're probably also gonna see Dougie because Cheeto Dinosaur. And I don't think Booger's gonna be in this because it's not a Jeffy video. Where's Booger anyway? I haven't seen him in a while. But anyway, whatever whatever happens, it's gonna be fun. So let's go ahead and get into it. What do you want to do today? I don't know, dude. I'm oh, bored. Cheeto puffs, anyone? Oh, Gotta be HD. So, guys, what do you want to do today? I don't know, yes, dude. Sir. I'm bored. Cheeto puffs, anyone? Cheeto puffs. Oh, yeah. I love uh, me some Cheeto, Cheeto puffs. Wait. Cheeto puffs. No, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. That's Reese's puffs. Yeah, that's Reese's. I was about to say. Also, no, I don't. I don't like Cheetos. I like potato chips. Maybe some corn chips. Those are corn meal chips, and it's just not my style, you know what I mean? But they are pretty tasty. I don't care, dude. They're still puffy. <gasps> I want one. Oh, man, I can't wait to eat a Cheeto puff. Oh, I'm so good. Wait, wait, wait guys, look. Whoa. This Cheeto puff looks like a dinosaur with a long neck. A, a brontosaur. Swan. Whoa, that's sick. That's well, it could also be an apatosaurus or a brachiosaurus, depending on who you ask, but mm -hmm. you can keep calling it a brontosaurus since you're uneducated. What wow. the frick? Guys, Why? I could sell this on eBay for like a million dollars. No way, dude. No, you couldn't. Uh, yeah, I could, Cody. People would love buying weird stuff like this. And what are the odds that the factory made a Cheeto puff that looked like a dinosaur? Junior, I'm pretty sure the factory messes up and makes Cheetos like that all the time. Your face Maybe. has pimples all the time. Yeah, well, that's because I sleep on a slice of pizza because I like the smell of pepperoni. How much would a starting bid be, dude? I'm going to start the bid at 750000 Can we talk about Cody roasting himself right there? Because we all know he's not serious. We've been in his room. What? You're real. This is why they make fun of you, man. You just let it happen. And you join them. I mean, yeah, that's, that's a way to deter public bullies. You know, by joining in and laughing with them about it. Maybe you can make a friend, but... These guys are just fake. Like, come on. Thousand dollars. Junior, nobody's gonna pay seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars for a weird Cheeto puff. Yes, they <laughs> will, be Cody. Surprised. You're just jealous because I'm gonna be rolling in moolah. You'd yeah, be that's surprised. Spanish for money. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. The Spanish word for money is dinero. What? It is. De Niro is a last name, Cody. Like Robert De Niro. He was in Meet the Parents and Meet the Fuckers. Duh. You're telling me his name is Robert Money? Yes. There are many, many names out there that are also words i mean heck l'argent is french for the money and you know largent is also a last name unfortunately it wasn't pronounced the same way but that's because there's no apostrophe but, no guys is this really what we're doing today we're selling a cheeto puff yeah yes. we're gonna sell it for that's a million it. dollars starting bid seven hundred fifty thousand. so let that's me get my cheeto laptop dinosaur. and my phone and we're gonna take pictures of it that's so dumb Okay, guys, I got my phone. Let me just take a few pictures. This is literally oh, yeah, it. those look good. And done. All right, Cody, I just listed the Cheeto Puff Brontosaurus on eBay. Why? Now, I know you said $750,000 was a lot of money for the starting bid, so I made the starting bid $749,900. Okay, look at you being generous, dude. But, you know, it might as well be $750,000. It's only a $100 difference. Exactly. Listen, Cody, just shut up. We're just going to lay back and watch mm -hmm. all the bids roll in. Yeah, oh, please. get that money, bro. You should have started the bid at, at maybe a hundred. I mean, yes, that's still extremely expensive for one Cheeto, but people have bought stupider things for more money. So if you started the bid at 100, then somebody would probably come in by the next day and then somebody would bid on top of it. I bet you'd at least get 200 out of it. Maybe at most 250, but at least 200. Nobody's bidding. Because I have to refresh it, Cody. Watch it refresh to a million. Still no bid. There's someone at the door. Hey, Cody, will you answer the door with me? Okay. Is it good, yeah, man? Junior, why did I have to answer the door with you? Because what if it's a kidnapper at the door, Cody, and he grabs me? You could bite his hand and he would let me go. What if it's two kidnappers? <gasps> You're right. Woo! Joseph! No, we don't need Joseph. Let's yeah. just answer the door. Let's get Joseph. <sighs> Hello? Hey, are I you the it. kid with the Cheeto shaped like a dinosaur for sale on eBay? <gasps> yeah, that's me. I would like to buy it. <gasps> yeah. He doesn't know how eBay works. You could have just bought it online. Well, I don't want to buy it online. I want it now, so I came here to get it now. There's a buy it now option. Yeah, but then there's shipping and it could get damaged during that. I don't want to do that. I want to buy it right now for a million dollars cash. Whoa. A million dollars? Why? Because I collect Cheetos that are shaped 
saying like weird things. Like, how come I never knew? How come I never knew this? Man, I'll buy all the Cheetos you want. You're gonna give me a million dollars for it. The frick? Like I have a Cheeto shaped like the Eiffel Tower with a working elevator at my house. No, you don't. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Can I buy it or not? Yeah, it's upstairs. Come on. All right. Okay, the Cheeto pops right here. Oh. Where? Why? Why why are you like this? Why does somebody always have to come in and ruin everybody's chances of getting money? You were in on this. You saw him make the idea. You supported the idea. Why would you ruin it? There is a whole bag full of other Cheetos that you could have eaten. It's right there. Ah, okay. Where'd it go? I don't know. It was right here, Junior. Joseph, have you seen the Cheeto Puff? Nope. But, Joseph, what are you eating? Cheetos. But not the one we're gonna sell, though, right? No, why would I do that to you guys? Right. Well, maybe it fell on the floor. Is there a there. problem, gentlemen? We can't seem to find the Cheeto Puff. Are you screwing with me? Well, no, it was right here, but we kind of lost it. Listen, time is money, so if you find it, you just give me a call, yep, okay? You're okay, screwing come with on, me. guys, we gotta find it. It's worth a million dollars. You're freaking Joseph, screwing are with Are you me. eating the Cheeto dinosaur? Yes. Look, dude, I'll be honest. We were going nowhere fast. How are we going to get 10 minutes out of this? Wait, so you did eat it? Yes, I ate it. What? what? Oh, my God, Joseph. That guy was going to offer us a million dollars. No way he wasn't. I was just about to comment on that. Five million dollars. He freaking ate it. Joseph, no, I don't like you anymore. I don't like you anymore. Nope. You were, you were on my favorite characters. Actually, no, you weren't. I... I didn't really like him that much anyway, because he's all because he's such a follower. But now, now you're just dead to me, just like Karen and Jeffings, because he also destroyed a lot of money. Everybody who touch who who messes with money, in my opinion, is dead. Look, the bid on eBay. It was at five million dollars. We could have made five million dollars, and you ate the cheetos. Spit it out. No, I'm not spitting it out. It's good. What you look? The news. Yep. It's about the Cheeto dinosaur. Breaking you can't get news, one. okay? A Cheeto that looks dinosaur? like a dinosaur has reached a bid of five million dollars on eBay. I was gonna offer one million dollars in cash, so it looks like I'm gonna have to up my offer to ten million dollars in cash if they can find the Cheeto. Ten million dollars? You hear that, Joseph? You cost us ten million dollars. Oh, Joseph? No. Where'd you go? Oh, he ran off during the news. Makes he sense. did? Yeah, he said I'm out of here, dude, and then he ran away and he took your laptop. Yeah, he took my laptop. Why? Oh, when I see Joseph again, I'm gonna give a big noogie on his head. Oh, come on, Junior. Don't you think that's a little extreme? If we play tag, he's gonna be it. Okay, that's just cruel. And if we're playing hide and seek, he's gonna be the seeker. No, you Lock him up. At this point, put him in jail for three days. One day for eating the Cheeto, one day for stealing your laptop, and three for being a wuss and a coward, okay? He's being crazy. No, Cody, cost and, me and $10 million. Jail, well, technically, up. it was my bag of Cheeto puffs, so it should have been mine anyway. Right. No, 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 you didn't even care about it. You thought it was worthless. Well, I thought it was worthless. And now it's worth $10 million. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to go buy a bunch of bags of Cheetos and pour them all out until we find one that looks like a dinosaur. You won't. Oh, come on, Junior. What are the odds we find another Cheeto puff that looks like a dinosaur? There's you said earlier that that probably always happens. Zero. Well, yeah, because I didn't want to do this. Joseph was right. This video idea was going nowhere. <laughs> oh, well, it's going somewhere. Come on, we're gonna get a bag of Cheetos. Why are you grabbing my ear? Okay, hey, Cody, we're gonna pour that? out all these bags of Cheetos until we find a Cheeto dinosaur. Junior, this is stupid. You're stupid. Start pouring. I mean, you're both pretty dumb. Like, I know Cody got a, had a 1600 on his SAT, but he's still hanging out with these guys. So, yes, he may be academically smart, but socially, he is dumber than a freaking rock. He's probably he's probably stupid emotionally too. He's still he's still breastfed. He has no idea how to function in the human world. Do you see any that look like a dinosaur? No, they all just look like my wiener that has Peroni's disease. There's a slight curve. Well, keep what the frick? Why would you say that? I don't see that? any dinosaurs. Come on. What the frick is that? Is what that a new? What is this? Uh, is it like a prize? Junior, I think this is a nuclear bomb. <gasps> why? They give out nuclear bombs as prizes? No, why would they give a nuclear bomb as a prize? Because Cheetos are the bomb. Junior, this is dangerous. If this explodes, it can destroy the whole city. You want to play catch with it? Yes. Let's go. Yeah, we're right, playing Cody, catch with go it. Go along. I got it. I got it. Boom. 
Cody, you doofus! Why didn't you catch Why it? Didn't Sorry, it? Junior. You know my depth perception's off. Well, throw it to me. Wow. What? Cody, what? They really put a dang friggin' Apple Watch or some on it and said it's a five minutes. Yep, everybody's gonna die. Everybody's gonna die. Everybody's going to die. What time? Countdown to oh, detonation. Yeah. Detonation! Uh, Junior, this nuke's gonna explode. Let's go call the military, come on! Yeah. Junior, if this bomb goes off, we're gonna be toast. And not like good toast, burnt toast. And not even good burnt toast. Radioactive burnt toast. Well, it's ringing. Hold What's on. good burnt toast? Hello, thank you for calling the U.S. military. Yes, aliens are real. And if your question's yeah. not about aliens, what do you want? Okay, so me and my friends are eating a bag of Cheeto Puffs. Oh, I love Cheeto no, Puffs. Yummy. Yeah, they're really good. And then I found a Cheeto Puff that looked like a Bronte. Dinosaurus. Uh, I don't actually know my dinosaurs very well. Hold on, let me look that one up. What the frick? Oh, the long necky ones, like Littlefoot from Land Before Time. No, yeah, like, I love those guys. Like yeah, so I was gonna monster. sell that Cheeto puff on eBay for a lot and of money. Junior, get to the point. Tell him about the bomb. <sighs> so then we started pouring out bags of Cheetos on the kitchen counter. Why were you doing that? See, Cody, he doesn't understand. He's confused. He has to know the whole story. Junior, just hurry up. We need to tell him about the bomb now. Right. We're gonna die. Okay, so look, my friend ate the Cheeto puff that looked like the Brontosaurus, so I wanted to go through bags of Cheetos to find another Cheeto puff that looked like a Brontosaurus, Bro. and then we found a nuclear bomb in the bag of Cheetos. Hold on a minute. This is a prank call. There's no way you found a Cheeto puff that looks like a dinosaur. No, no, it, it's real. I'm not pranking you. What? Hello? <sighs> he hung. This is why we don't trust Brooklyn guy anymore. He didn't even save you guys when you were stuck on when you were stuck in the pool. Brooklyn guy, you've fallen off. You've fallen off like somebody off the Golden Gate Bridge. Okay. Not Cody. Well, of course he did, Junior. Your story was all over the place. It wasn't believable. If you just told him we found a nuke in a bag of Cheeto Puffs, he'd believe you. Actually, that does sound insane. So, Cody, why don't we just yeah, get in the car and then drive away before this thing blows up? Junior, do you know how big this explosion's gonna be? We would never get away in time. Even if we got a mile away, our eardrums would still rupture and our eyes would melt. That's okay, true. so what do we do? Like, what do you think we should do? Well, I suggest we panic! Panic! Right, panic, there's panic, nothing to panic, do. You're gonna die. Panic! Sergeant guy, we Wait. have a problem. Bury it. It's not going to affect much. It is not going to affect much, but if you bury it, you dig a big enough hole and just, and just bury it, it will at least lessen the effects of the, radi of the radiation on society. Because the initial blast will be, will be muffled. That, that first wave of the blast will just be getting the dirt out of the way. Then, it, then, it, then the blast will leak into the city. So it's bury it. What's That's matter, my sir? solution. Well, when I was a kid, my mom never gave me braces, so now people call me gap teeth. Or throw Look. it into the ocean. Oh yeah, that's pretty bad, yeah, sir. Throw it in the ocean. Invisalign. <laughs> Invisalign. I'll keep that in mind. Oh yeah, Sergeant, we do also have another problem. See, we were trying to transport a nuclear bomb hidden in a bag of Cheetos puffs, and it seems that bag made its way to a grocery store somehow, and now we're worried somebody might have bought it. And the slightest yeah. touch will set it off with a five-minute countdown to boom time. Mm -hmm. Well, that seems pretty fucking stupid, sir. It oh, is. it was. Yeah, it was a terrible idea. We should have hit it in a bag of Funyuns or Sun the Chips frick? or something people don't actually eat. Hold oh, up. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. I like Funyuns. I don't buy them, but I don't But I don't buy Cheetos either. I mean, if they're there, I'll eat either one. I like Funyuns more than I like Cheetos. Funyuns are made with onions, and they have less saturated fat. They're both a waste of space either way, but come on. Or you could have just not hit it in a bag of chips at all. Right. Yes, that would have been even better. I'll keep that in mind. So what do you need me to do, sir? I need you to go to every store in America until you find that bag of Cheetos puffs. Oh, well, actually, some kids just called me saying that they found a nuclear bomb in a bag of Cheetos yeah. puffs. Oh, I'd follow up on that. That's probably it. You should call them back. Oh, I, I can't call him back. I deleted my call history and what? broke my phone because I thought it was a prank call. Damn it, God, you need to find those kids right now. Why? Well, how do I even deactivate the bomb if I do find it? Well, you got to play this game of Simon in front of it. If you beat what? four rounds, the bomb will deactivate. Hope you got a good memory, Sergeant. Uh, what? Oh, okay, okay, I'm, I'm going to go. Cody, what are we going to do? How much time? Somebody call for help? Yes. Ooh, Chester Cheeto! Thank you. Actually, Junior, I think it's Chester Cheetah, because he's a cheetah. Yeah. No, my last name's actually Cheeto, but I am a cheetah, man. Oh, well, never mind then. Why? Wait, Chester Cheeto, is there any way you can deactivate this nuclear bomb? We, we found it in a bag of Cheetos. Can I deactivate that nuclear bomb? Can I you? invented the nuclear bomb. What? Wait, really? Yeah, let me tell you about it. Okay, we'll make it quick. So I used to live at the zoo in the cheetah what exhibit. The my is name was what? Chester what? Cheetah Oppenheimer. Cheeto for sure. Chester Kids love looking at Oppenheimer. Me, they throw cheese in my enclosure, and I would take a cheese grater and make dust out of it. And that's how I invented Cheetos. The president loved them so much, he said, Chester, these Cheetos are the bomb. Okay. Speaking of bombs, I need two big ones. So hmm. I said right away, Mr. President, 
and they locked me in a room with all the Cheetos I could eat and uranium. Man, Albert Einstein was there too for some reason, what? man. So I made two atomic bombs. I was in the Enola Gay when they dropped the first one. <laughs> I looked back and saw the explosion, and that's how I went blind. Wow. Then they dropped the second one, and that just made me sad. Godzilla. So I've been snorting Cheetos and being depressed ever since, man. That was a really sad story, Chester. But can you help us with this bomb, please? I can't defuse that shit, man. Wh then why did you tell us why that not? story? I'm blind. What do you expect me to do, man? I'm sorry. See, I was gonna, I was gonna be mad about about why he came in the first place or how he even got here, but I understand. I yeah, that's kind of on, that's kind of on us or kind of on them. I didn't have anything to do with it. Yeah, he is blind. What the heck was he gonna do? How did you get here? What the frick? Okay. Get the hell out of here, Chester. Right. Junior, he just wasted so much of our time. I'm saying How much Chris, time do we have left? <gasps> we have 34 seconds, Cody. Okay, kids, I'm here. I can defuse the bomb. Well, Brooklyn. You can. Yeah, but we gotta play Simon. Come on, Brooklyn. Simon. Yeah, so dude, play Simon. Brooklyn. We just win. You yeah, do yeah, it. Win four rounds of Simon. You four do rounds. it. Yes, four rounds Turn of Simon. Off. Okay. Solo. <laughs> yeah, solo. Bro. Blue. 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 Blue, blue, green. What, no, what the I, hell? I, I pressed yellow. Can I restart? They're dead. Junior, I think we're gonna die. What, what They're are dead. Die? They're dead. Red. Red, blue. Somebody else play the game. Both of you are. Both of you are at least a little bit more intelligent than this. Than this ginger freaking idiot over here. Got the got color. Hair color the same as the frickin' bomb. Ain't got no brain in that head. He's got horns, though. I don't know how that works. Bomb activated. And everybody <laughs> dies. Uh, I, I, I think that means we're out of time. Yeah, but what's gonna happen? Well, I think it's gonna explode. That's it. I can't believe Junior actually thought I ate that stupid Cheeto, dude. <laughs> oh, man, I saw that $5 million offer, and I took it. <laughs> <laughs> Good. You know what? I was mad that they let it explode, but Joseph, now, now you're on my crap list for a different reason, because you're disloyal, okay? Loyalty to your, to your friends is more important than money, okay? So this is actually a, a worse betrayal than what I thought you were guilty of before, okay? Okay. <laughs> Favorite snack is frickin' honeydew melon. Period. Ugh. Okay, that's all. Well, that was a that was an emotional roller coaster if I've ever been on one. So Joseph really stole that stinking Cheeto, man. And then he sold it to Goodman for ten million dollars and then they died. Joseph, this is all on you. If you hadn't stolen that thing, this would have never happened. Actually, no, this is this is the military's fault. This is the chief's fault for being an idiot and putting the stupid frickin' bomb in a bag of frickin' chips, okay? Yeah, I wish Brooklyn guy would have known about it. Because Brooklyn guy is unreliable, and he's kind of dumb. Extremely dumb. I don't know how he even got any of these jobs. But, he would he has enough sense to not do that. Okay, let me get on out of here. If you guys enjoyed the video, go, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, share, and all that good stuff. Eat your greens. Don't play with nukes. And have a great week. You're loved. You're appreciated. You're going to do amazing things. And I'm out. Peace.